Unwilling to forsake their fellowship together, a small group of Christians quietly meets in a home. Although they are aware of the dangers of this secret meeting, they are unprepared for what awaits. What's going on in here? The communist soldiers terrorize the believers, shouting insults and threatening to kill them. The leading officer demands that the pastor hand over the Bible. His hatred for Christianity is revealed as he throws the word of God to the floor. He commands everyone to spit on the book of lies as they leave the building. Anyone who refuses will be shot. In this life or death situation, the believers have no choice. They reluctantly comply with the soldier's order. Father, please click you. Okay, you. Overcome with love for her Lord, she picks up the book and wipes off the spit, asking God to forgive them. What they done to your word, please forgive them. It will be her last prayer. They were stoned. They were sawn in two. They were slain, destitute, afflicted, tormented. They were of whom the world was not worthy. The author of Hebrews spoke about heroes of the faith, courageous men and women who lived and died before godless men. But what about today's persecuted Christians? Like the young Cambodian girl who gave her life at the hands of Khmer Rouge soldiers. Her crime, demonstrating her love by wiping spit from the Bible. Christians throughout the world continue to suffer for their faith in Jesus Christ, a faith that allows ordinary people to triumph in extraordinary circumstances. Beaten, tortured, imprisoned, they press on. Their undying love, a testimony to us all. The following are true stories of today's persecuted church, our brothers and sisters, whose faith is under fire.